All right, back in Manhattan for this episode of Off the Clock, going to Julon Club, a popular spot for new offensive lineman Kalecio Semele. K.O. is one of the most interesting dudes on the team. He's big into Asian cuisine, myself. I like dumplings, that's really all I have to offer, but you know what? I'm open for new experiences and Kalechi is going to provide some. But for this episode, let's get to know K.O. All right, K.O., so can you give us the background story of how you found this place and just kind of what this is? Because Julan Club, for those who don't know, was a ancient society, an art society. Um, I guess the history behind this place, um, there's art all, all over the walls, and this used to be, a, it was an art club. People would like display their art, buy their art, sell art. So that's what that's all about. All right, so what are we getting ourselves into here? Because I like dumplings. I know that they have dumplings here, but what is your favorite dish here, and what are you putting on my plate today? Oh, man. Uh, so dumplings, they got some awesome uh, soup dumplings here. That's probably like my favorite thing when I just uh, when I got back from uh, China and Japan, this trip that I just took this off season. Uh, this is one of the first like Chinese places that I that I came to, and I was it was on par, man. It was it's pretty high up there. Uh, the dumplings are really good here. All right, so I want to talk about travel for a minute because you mentioned your trips to China and Japan. I know you've traveled all over the world. What was the most unique experience for you? Man, there's so many to name, but I feel like spiritually the most unique was probably I would say Thailand. Like I'm there was home. like some islands uh, out there that were just like super secluded. The people there were just so happy. Our first dish is ready. So let's see what we got. It's my man Dara right oh, here. Dara. This is he always. My guy. All our right. chicken saute with our signature peanut sauce. Okay. Enjoy. All right, thank you. I'm gonna let you go in first because I, I don't really know what I'm getting myself into here. Oh my God, this is fire. There's so many different flavors. This is like, it's I'm almost like, like dessert and chicken at the same time. What's the most fascinating culture that you come across? In Japanese culture, I would say. Okay. Just because people are so like well-mannered, um, very, very helpful. Like I saw people like carrying the elderly, like people in wheelchairs, like up the stairs in the subway. How would you describe your culture? Nigerian culture? Yeah. Um, Nigerian it's like culture. very, very disciplined. I'd actually say it was pretty similar to Japanese culture. Okay. And I see more dumplings, so I'm gonna hit time out because th what, this, is, this is what we came here for. We came here for the dumplings. These are our crab and pork soup dumplings. Okay. With mm. the broth inside. And it's served with the, the soup dumpling sauce. And you put it on the spoon, you put a little bit of the sauce, and you kind of slurp the sauce and the, the dumpling sauce together. Okay. All right. Yeah, dog. <laughs> you know how to eat these? Do I know how to eat those or use these? Both. Because the answer might be the same. Okay. And it's yes. No, I'm okay. just kidding. <laughs> so yeah, I, I'm gonna follow your lead here. So you wanna grab it, dab a little sauce on it, you put it on the spoon. Because there's broth in the dumpling, right? Is yes. that how that works? Yes. So. Okay. We'll dip a little, little spoon. All right. Oh my God. Then you slurp it. <laughs> How uh, how hot is this right now? Is it like piping hot? It would probably burn you. So I would wait if I was it. Why'd you say that like it would burn me? Some people burn easier. All right, here we go. Awesome. Oh yeah, that's really I good. I can see that you enjoy it. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, big time. Yeah. I've never had a soup dumpling before. I'm very proud that I'm the first person to yeah. take it in. I'm all about the new experience, but yeah, you can put that on your resume. Super Bowl champ, all pro, pro bowl, showing Ethan how to eat a soup dumpling. Sounds like a good resume to me. All right, I think we're ready for our next dish. These are our sloppy oxtail bao buns, chopped with Asian slaw and cilantro. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. This is big time. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I've never had oxtail, but what? I like it. It's so many first for you. I know. Do you get out of the house? I, like to, I like to cook. How about that? Oh, okay. Yeah, I, yeah, I dabble in the kitchen. These are our duck uh, tacos, topped with some scallion and okay. the poison sauce that you pour on top. 
<laughs> that sauce would make anything good. Yeah, yeah. Well, oh my God, what is that? We gotta find out what that is. I do have a question for you. Cause I was thinking about this. When was the first time that you played offensive line, you grabbed a hold of somebody, and you said, oh, I like that? <laughs> i probably say my junior year, because I was really just trying to get on varsity, and I had never played line before. Of high school? Yeah, and I was blocking um, everybody on the sophomore team, everybody on the JV team, everybody but, like, the varsity team. Mm -hmm. And I was driving them off the 4x4, four four, and the guy was like, you can clearly block. You, you want to play on varsity? Like, would you like to, like, move? positions and like play offensive line and I was like yeah that sounds great to me all right so we're capping things off with the dessert before we dive in what was your favorite entree I'm a I'm a soup dumpling guy that's like really why I my guy me too that was, that was my favorite that was my favorite I've never had an edamame dumpling never had a duck taco oxtail bao bun before they were but all everything good. was awesome but the soup dumpling for me put it over the top yeah and what do you think about this dessert? It's awesome. Mm -hmm. It's really good. All right, that's about all we have here for this episode of Off the Clock KO. Thank you very much for introducing me to some new cuisine. I'm definitely coming back. Julan Club, if you want to hit it up, please do. It's fantastic. Get the soup dumplings. For now, we got to finish off some dessert. That's Come all we got. Come for the ambiance, stay for the dumplings. Come for the ambiance, <laughs> stay for the dumplings. Absolutely right. That was Off the Clock with KO.